Hey everyone, I'm Thrones 64 here, and today we can see on with the finale of the uh, Diddy Conversion to DS for Nintendo Obvious Consoles Obvious. So, that's probably pretty much finished up every other course in the game. And now, it's time to actually finish up this game once and for all, and I finally get a boost. A finale, only up to the finale, and I uh, and I finally got a boost. I don't care if it's moderate, I finally got a boost. Dang, that has such a that has such a reach. Ah, oh, oh. Okay, I thought it was gonna take me all the way back there for some reason, but no, it's just a loop. Everyone takes this way, jeez. I mean, like, back then, it used to be, like, only you and probably, like, an occasional one or two CPU take it. But here, everyone's practically taking it. I mean, it was sure as heck no secret, mind you, but still, my god. And you know, this actually was probably one of the best stages most people picked for multiplayer. I oh, why did they do why does the game do that to you? I'll never know. Anyway, this was the best stage for multiplayer, no doubt. Uh, if this could stop slowing down on me, that'd be great. Come on, baby, we're only one part. We're only like the last part in. You can do this. They wrecked. Who's up in the first place anyway? I mean, this they don't give you names on who's first. They just give you colors. So I honestly don't have an, I don't honestly don't have a clue. I know bumpers in front of me for whatever reason. Like, actually, no, it makes sense because like. Even in the original, he's usually this high up when it comes to uh, this kind of court in these last few courses. Dixie Kong! Oh, heck no! Hold on, let me uh, pull my hat in the ring. Nope, it didn't even matter. No! Ah! Uh, no! Ah! Uh. Oh no, 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 I'm getting fourth. Unless I get the boost for third. Ah, uh, nope, fourth. That's even worse. I'm shamed. Alright, at least dark and cameras I'll do better. Don't slow down on me. Okay, there we go. Ah, got him. Oh, like, I don't want to do horribly on this last part. I will at least still go for first. Get wrecked. Excuse me. Let's go, extra security. This is honestly the best weapon, and I think at one point most people consider this to be a broken weapon. Because of the fact that they always hit. Yeah, they always hit. Even walls, as you can see, they even hit walls. Anyway, they always hit their target. Always. There's literally no time. Like, unless you have a barrier, there's virtually no other time. This won't hit. You 
can't count, like you can't counter it either because apparently for whatever reason this is more powerful than other versions of it. Dang, it's so close. What the? I was all up on that. You saw that. Eh, yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm still up here. 60. Okay. After this, I could probably upgrade the plane, which I will need for the final list pick boss, which shouldn't be a surprise if anyone's seen the original. Or at least the playthrough of the original, whichever. Wait, what did the second? Oh, the second one must have went for bumper. Can get rid of this. Oh, you can't use items. I keep forgetting you can't use items in the loop. If you could, that would also be broken because, well, you could easily be falling down at worst. Tiny, exactly. Oh, she's in third. Not bad. Now, I think I'm still gonna be in second after that. Yep, I'm still in second. Okay, this stage you got. Alright, this stage won't be too bad when I'm actually in, like, real control of it. Except when that happens for whatever reason. Oh, wait. I wasn't able to use it in there, but I was able to use it now. Oh, yeah. Apparently, for whatever reason, these don't activate at all. Why? I mean, unlike the... Like, one thing, unlike the original, these actually look like they're able to, uh, be used. But for whatever reason, they're not. Nope. Let me just hit you with that real quick. Oh yeah, one a tip for uh, playing the plane, never let go of R. Like seriously, never let go of R when you're playing this. When you're playing the N64 version or you're playing the DS version of this game. Just never let go of R when you're playing on the plane. It, I don't see there's a, there's no reason to anyway, because like it, it gives you better turning. Especially in most tight corners, and say like you just barely miss it, the R button is the most reliable option. So there's really no reason to not hold the R button the whole way through. Some people have argued that in a battle situation you don't have to hold it. Eh, uh, that's not really true because of the fact that you can get screwed over so easily. Jeez, Pepsi takes forever to take out. Like, you saw how many hits she took, and she's still catching up. Then again, she used, I think she's using a custom plane. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention the CPU can also use customs? Okay, let me get rid of this. Look at this, it's like I can't lose her. Oh no, she's gonna be able to get the blue balloon, that's it. Yep, that's it. Where the heck did Dixie come from of all time? Ah, no, please. Ah. Fourth again. I'm not gonna win this if I keep screwing up like this. I know Bumper's down there, but still, Dixie's gonna come up and take the place. I have to win this, and Bumper must not be anywhere near me. There's no other option of winning this. Thanks, Tiny. Okay, at least I have a cut. At least I have like a custom card, and she's still. You know, I keep forgetting. There's, a, I keep forgetting. Drafting is actually a thing in this game. I don't think this was ever a thing in the original, but in this game. It kinda is. It's not like Mario Kart Wii or 8 or anything like that where you stay and there's gonna be like, uh, was it like a jet plane? Oh, no, jet wind, uh, jet wind or something like that. That comes up and you'll be able to catch up. But in this game, I mean, it's kinda like, you know what? No, it's kinda like career ride. However, it's not as instantaneous as that. If that makes any sense. It works like, it's a thing like Mario Kart Wii, but it acts more like Kirby Air Ride. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, there's no way to get out of that. I keep for like there's a game where you're allowed to do that, where you just shake the uh, control stick, and yes, the control stick, and you can get through all this just fine. But here you can. Pipsy's catching up, so can't. Oh, uh, we can't have that. Oh, this is not looking good. Well, I mean, it's looking good so far, but I don't want to jinx it, so... I keep missing now. Alright, at least I'm in first and apparently bumpers in last, which is perfect. Yes! Alright. Yes! Just barely by two points, but I don't care. Alright. This is it, guys. Actually... Oh yeah, I have to go all the way back to Tarsh in order to, uh, use it, so... Let's go back to Tarsh. Feels good to be back on the island, quite honestly. I'm gonna miss this, but I'm sure as heck not gonna probably- I'm probably not gonna miss this game after this, though. Because I, I can just listen to the music on YouTube, obviously. Won't sound as good, but... Yeah, not there, because like, there are some modes in that that we can use. But... Oh yeah, I have to pay to unlock body work, and then I could put some more effort into it by like... Getting all this, which defeats the purpose, of course. At least I got a racing type of uh, plane, so. Uh, I'm not complaining too much. Alright, now let's head back to Wizpig and let's finish this up. Bit of the game. They did try to keep up with the original, but eh. here is probably, like I said, the most disappointing and anticlimactic final boss you'll ever meet. They took out the pillars. They wind this stuff so you won't hit it. Oh yeah, there's like a little bit of a force field on Wispix, so you can't touch him. There's only one ship. Granted, he shoots two things at you. It's just one ship. And I think he still gets that shock that happens in the original. I think it's this one. No. Either way, this is it. This is it, guys. This is the final boss. Why don't you, why don't you have a good lead? It's like, it's already over, practically. Now, there's no, now, unlike the first one, there's no boosters, and he's still kind of faster than you overall. But it's not like that's going to matter too much. Wait, I thought there was a red balloon down here. I know, red balloon, blue balloon. Like I said before, that won't matter. Ah, uh, get up, get it up. Won't matter too much because there's so little that's actually in your way. I'm just sucking right now. And watch how in the last lap I'm gonna do my absolute best, and it's gonna be like, well, uh, that's it. 
Okay, probably not absolute best because there's not really that much effort I need to put into beating this pig. But you guys know what I mean. Actually, from the looks of it, it's actually that I'm kind of faster than him without the boosters. Okay, you're probably somewhat close to evenly matched in speed. Either way, this is it. I mean, what other words can I have? This is it. This is the final boss right here. Literally the most dangerous thing you have to worry about are those electric lines in this section. And if you could drive better than I can, you won't even have to worry about it. This is probably the only time I say don't hold R. Because, like, the turning may end up being too tight to where you end up crashing the pillars. Ouch! Crap, that's what I get for crashing into him. Nope, uh, I think I done. I done goofed. Like I said, despite how I'm making it look, this is actually an easy boss. It's just. There's just not much else to it. All that fun I had, all the disappointment, all the anger, all the, uh. All the joy, all the tears, all the salt that I went through with this entire game. And it's all represented right here. With this final boss. Okay, so when you have a direct shot, yeah, it's just me sucking. Okay. New rule. Always hold R except for the Whiz Pig fight, and that was just horrible. Like, hold it. I mean, I probably should have been more clear about that because, like,. Your Whiz Pig can actually attack you, kinda. So, I want to be careful with that. Other than that, as you can see, he actually is an easy boss. Sorry if I'm making it look so much more difficult than what it is. But sorry about that. I tried in vain to see if I could just use the A button to uh, get a head start. Alright, so... Believe it or not, like I said before, whether you will... Whether you believe it in the gameplay I'm showing, or just in general... Boss is easy, but it's just my horrible driving skills. Yeah, they took out the accidental uh, hit from hitting, getting hit with that uh, electric shock. I'm kind of glad they took that out so it won't look like he's just hurting himself. But at the same time, I don't, I kind of don't miss the fact that he just flips when he does in the original. If anyone saw that, he actually flips over just for getting hit. But yeah, I don't know why they decided to take out all of this, uh, all the obstacles, or at least most of them, to a point that it's just so minimal it doesn't even feel like it's a challenge. Now the challenge, the only, in fact, I'm doing the only challenge I'm doing is with the horrible driving I'm doing. Then Whiz Pig actually is. That is sad. It's sad on my part and on uh, Whiz Pig's. Okay, he's starting to catch up, which obviously isn't good. This is probably one of those times I wish there was at least a power-up token, but nope. It's only just red and blue balloons within the, uh, within the boss. Okay, let me get rid of these. Alright, this is it. This is it. I'm gonna probably screw it up, but this is it. Jeez, he's, that thing's ready to shoot you. Ah. Okay, there we go. Okay, I may... Oh, wait, what? I thought that was a blue balloon, no. Oh, no, 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 I still have the uh, red balloon in stock. Never mind, never mind. I was about to freak out for a second. Okay, maybe not freak out because I'm way ahead at this point, but I was kind of going to get worried. But no, this is it. I'm calling it now. This is it. This is the final boss. It's over. It is over! That's the game. Ooh. 
Oh yeah, and they actually changed it to ta uh, a Taj, but it's not in gold like it used to be. This is it. This is it, guys. We finished the game. That's it. Okay. Now, I'm, like I said in the very beginning, I'm going to be completely optimistic about this, as I was about the beginning of the game to the end. And I gotta say, even with all of that, unless you don't have an access to an N64, I don't recommend you play this game. Like, I'm being serious. I, ha I will admit that in this final, in these last two parts, I had fun with the game, but that's the pro that's also the problem. I only had fun with in this point of the point on was the game. It's not something I recommend you playing. If you like Diddy Kong Racing, sure, have fun with it. If you have an access to a DS, 3DS, maybe even new 3DS, and to play this, sure, go ahead. If you like the stylus controls, fine. But for person, for someone who prefers the way the original plays, I don't recommend it because the game is surrounded by the gimmicks, and that's the thing I want to say that I haven't really liked. I know that it's a remake and it's on DS, so obviously it's not going to be kept the exact same. And I know that you some people will compare it to, like, say, the Super Mario 64, how that game and the DS version where that game uses stylus, but that game uses the stylus in the convenient way. It doesn't feel like I have to pull it out like every single time, just so I can start or just so I can start a race, start a mode. I don't mind the balloon challenge one. I'll skip that. Just to start a race, get the extra balloons to start the game, and then move on with the rest. Heck, even if you don't pay, and like just one like drop stick. Like these are just some extra steps that I felt like were just kind of unnecessary for the game. You can argue that this may have hurt the game, or may may I not have hurt uh, hurt the game, but whatever the case is, it's just not something I would want someone to play, honestly. If you like it, all power to you for those who have played it, but me, and for me saying this towards everyone else, I don't recommend it. Oh yeah, talking about playable characters as well. Now there is Adventure 2, there is the Silver Coin Challenges, they do exist in this game, oops, uh, and then there's the multiplayer, but the thing is, there's no way to access multiplayer anymore, well, online multiplayer, <laughs> excuse me, online multiplayer. You can still have fun with the original, of course, with the local multiplayer multi-card or single card, whatever way you want to play it. But that's it, guys. That's it. That's the conversation DS. If you have fun with the game, awesome. But I don't recommend you playing it. That's all I have to say. So this is kind of the first time out there. You guys for sticking through this playthrough of the conversation DS. And hopefully you make the right choice.